Hey there everybody, what's going on? Sean here with Zero to Income. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, setting up our opt-in form for a service-based website template, all right? And this is going to be something that you can use for pretty much any of your websites, uh, any kind of an opt-in form. But uh, we're gonna go through the steps and um, I've got these really dialed in and organized in such a way that if you run through them in the order that I've got them, it's going to make everything kind of flow so much easier when you sit down to actually do the actual opt-in form. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump over to the system IO editor and we'll uh, show you here what is going on with this. All right. So the very first thing that we want to do is we actually want to create the tag. All right. I know this is like, we're not even doing anything on the actual site yet. Uh, but trust me, let's go create the tag. So where do we go to create the tags? We go into the contacts and we go into tags here. Something to keep in mind. If you're using the free version of system.io, which I'm using here, uh, you can only have one tag. So in this case, having just a, a real general tag, not a big deal. Um, I would just make it as simple as possible since we're only using one tag any, you know, anyway. Uh, if you're really doing some sophisticated stuff with your tags and with your email campaigns, you want to boost yourself up to a paid plan. Uh, but for most small businesses, I think the free plan is plenty. So that being said, uh, when you're in your tags, go ahead and click on create. And here, the name of our tag is just going to be opt-in. Again, just keeping it really simple, really um, general. Now the tag's created. So next step we want to do, uh, again, we're uh, planning things in advance before we actually go and make the actual edits on the opt-in form on our main homepage. And so what we want to do is when you have an opt-in form, there are ways to deliver something to somebody right away without emailing it to them. However, if you do that, the chances are, or there's always a chance that they're just going to provide some kind of a fake email and, um, and then you're going to give something away for not even getting a, a legit email. So you always want to make it so that uh, if they want it, they need to sh give you a legitimate email and then you're going to email them the whatever free resource that you're providing to them on the opt-in form. You want to think about what is it that you're delivering? Is it going to be a coupon code? Is it going to be a free training? Is it going to be maybe a free guide? Think about that uh, when you go into your campaign. Plan all this out before you get to this point here, right? So go over here to your campaigns. And in this case, what uh, I'm using for this particular uh, opt-in is going to be a 25% off coupon, okay? And I'm going to put that, I'm going to call that little section for the opt-ins my specials. So here's our our emails uh, and then campaigns and we're going to go and we're going to create a new campaign and then we're going to go ahead and click on create since we're using the free plan going ahead and making this kind of a general name also makes sense all right so we're just going to call this opt-in campaign and you can call this you know whatever you want it could be opt-in campaign opt-in sequence you know um, free resource sequence free resource campaign whatever and then you can put a description here this is the campaign and the users don't see this. This is for you on their back end. Uh, for the opt in form on the home page. All right. And then we'll do save. So while we're here, let's go ahead in and let's create the actual email that's going to go in here. Now, it's just going to be one, but the goal of this is to actually create uh, a series of emails later on. So, and you would just add them to this particular campaign. So the first email would be, here's your free resource uh, or your coupon. And then the next email might be, hey, uh, just want to follow up make sure that you got your coupon okay uh, check to see if you had any questions uh, by the way if you're still looking for a haircut here's where we're located uh, or uh, if you're still looking for plumbing service you know here's our link to schedule an appointment if you're still looking to schedule uh, maintenance service on your sprinklers again here's the link to schedule uh, an appointment so again each email has that call to action in it right but the whole point is to keep following up with folks in this email sequence and in this campaign. All right. So we're going to go in here and we're going to click into our new campaign. And then here we're going to click on create. And this is going to create the first email. 
Subject is just going to be, uh, again, this is where you, you think about, you know, what is my opt-in form for? Are, am I delivering training? Am I giving them uh, a coupon code? Am I giving them uh, a resource guide? Uh, in this case, we're going to be providing them a 25% uh, off coupon code. Okay. So we'll have something like, uh, and I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to put first name here right now, but this is not the correct tag. Uh, but we're going to personalize this email so that when it arrives, you know, let's just say your name is Sally. When this arrives, it's going to be Sally. Here's your exclusive coupon code. Uh, coupon code for 25% off. Okay. Sender name. You can make this whatever you want. Okay. So we'll leave it as John Elliott. And in the sender email address, this actually needs to be a verified email address. And that's where you would go back to your settings to do that. So uh, we've got this set up. We now have the subject. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that subject. And there's a very, there's a reason why I want this subject copied. We're going to use it in the thank you page so we can let them know, hey, thank you for signing up. You're going to receive an email with the subject line and you and you pop this in there into the thank you page so they know exactly what to look for when uh, in their email box okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on save so now we're in the email we're ready to, to start uh, adding all of our content that we want in this email now right here I said first name this is not the proper tag what you want to do here is go to substitute values use the drop down and I would just do this and just copy that and then go right up here and pop that in there so now, again, if your name is Sally, when you get this email, it's going to be Sally. Here's your exclusive coupon code for 25% off. Uh, that's the email that's going to arrive in her inbox. Okay. So now what we're going to do is do hello. Hello. And then we're going to use the substitute value. Going to personalize it again. Comma. And then uh, here I've got uh, the emails already kind of printed or uh, already um I drafted out, you know, and over here I've got the email already drafted out and in the Google Doc. So I'm just going to take it over here and copy this and paste it into right here. Okay, so we've got our email now and it's delivering the 25% off coupon and we're ready to go. All right, so if you want to save and test it, you could. Now, the, keep in mind when you, when you save and test it, it's going to arrive with the brackets. Okay, all this is still going to be brackets. It's not going to have any kind of a name because it's it, the, the form hasn't been completed. Um, so that's going to look kind of wonky. And so I'm going to wait because I want to. I'm going to walk you through a test once we're all done, and want to want to test the actually test it right. So let's go ahead and just click on save for now. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit this. Next step, we want to actually activate this and get this ready to go so that when we do run a test it's ready to go how do we activate it right over here three dots click on those three dots and click on activate right here because we're going to have this email sent immediately when a form is submitted what you do here is choose after which email to add this one to it's the first email just leave it blank okay just leave it the way it is same thing here delay before sending an email just leave it at default zero days. Uh, I would leave this all default as well. On the first email, uh, this is where you're going to just leave everything default for our form. Go ahead and click on activate. Okay. So now we actually have a tag set up and we have an email campaign set up with one email in it. Uh, and again, you can add more emails to this campaign with your free system IO plan. So don't worry about that. Uh, and then again, we have our uh, email already in that campaign. So now what we want to do is go over to our funnels and we want to work on the home page, uh, Battleground Sprinklers right here. Okay. And we want to go to the main page of it, which is the first page. And then what we're going to do is click on edit page. Now here are the specials. I've got this set up to where it, when you click on it, it automatically brings you all the way down here. And I've got this section set up as a sign up for a 25% off coupon and receive emails about other specials. Okay. Uh, they have to fill in their first name, their, uh, their email address. And then here is the button that says, yes, send me my, uh, send me the 25% off coupon. Uh, we could also say, send me my 25% off coupon. Again, you want to really personalize this, make it kind of first person. Uh, they've shown that the um, click-through rate 
well, they, they've shown that the conversion goes up quite a bit when you actually have this more first person. So click on this button. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have this button formatted properly and have all the settings set properly to deliver that first email. Okay. So once you click on the, the button, go over here and on the button action, action when button is clicked, you want to, you want to set this to uh, submit form. Okay. Next, do you want to redirect users after contact registration? Yes. You, you, you want to take them to the next step. And the next step in this case is going to be a thank you page. Uh, so you just put this drop down to next step. All right. And then from there, we want an automation rule. This is going to be what you use to say when they click on this button, what happens? All right. And what's going to happen? We're going to do two things. We're going to add a tag and we're going to subscribe them to that email campaign. So add an automation rule add action. There's nothing here right now. So we're going to add an action. First thing we do is we're going to add a tag. Okay. If we had not created a tag back in the beginning of this video, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do this step right now. We'd have to go and get out of this right now and go back to adding a, a contacts and back to tags and create the tag. And that's why we created that tag first. So I'm going to use this drop down and there's our opt-in tag that we created. Now I'm going to add another tag. There's no save option for like as you go. There's just a save rule, which will take you completely out. But we want to do another action and you can add as many actions to this automation rule as you want. Again, caveat here. You can only have one automation rule on your free system IO plan. So again, just, uh, this is just something that we're, you know, I think for most business owners is going to be fine. Um, but that's where, you know, you really want to, you know, if you, need to really have a lot of stuff going on, you're going to probably want to add more actions to this automation rule. Uh, adding two is, is perfectly fine. So uh, we're going to add an, another action and this one's going to be to subscribe them to a campaign right here. Again, this is why we created that campaign back in the beginning of the video. I'm going to go and click on choose campaign and there's our opt-in campaign. Now we can go ahead and save the rule. All right, so now we have our opt-in form done. Next step, let's go create that thank you page. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on save changes. And then after saving changes, we're going to go ahead and click out of this and go back. So we're going to exit out, go back to our funnel pages. And here is our lead magnet thank you page. Now, if you happen to have some kind of a free funnel that has these pages kind of mixed up, that next step needs to be the next page. So if this was down here, as you can just see, you can move these around and we want this thank you page to be the next step. So now we're going to click into edit page. So in this thank you page, what we want to do is just let them know, Hey, thank you for, you know, this is what happens after they've clicked on that submit button on the main page. Thank you for your interest in battleground sprinklers and landscaping. This is where you would put the name of your business. Your 25% coupon is on the way. Here's what to do next. Head over to your email box. You're going to receive an email with the subject line. Remember I told you to copy that subject line, your first name. Here's your 25% off coupon. All right. Again, let them know what to look for, right? Making this as stinking easy as possible for them. Right. Next, uh, just put a little blurb in there about making sure for them to check their spam folder. Uh, in case the message was sent there, uh, using the first name has a tendency and the subject line has a tendency to help it not go in the spam folder, not guaranteed, but they say that it can help. Um, that still being said, make sure you have something here that, you know, kind of standard, uh, message of check your spam folders, folks, make sure that it hasn't gone to spam. If it is there, mark it as safe. Right. And then, uh, here, oh, we got this we didn't get this, the numbers correct. Now they are. All right. So keep an eye, eye out for emails uh, from your company, uh, in this case from Battleground Sprinklers and Landscaping, uh, for future specials and helpful tips for your sprinkler system. That's we, we got all set up. You want to have a link going back to your site here, and then you're done. You have a thank you page that's done. We're going to click on Save Changes. So now what you want to do is we want to run through and test this. Everything should be working just fine. Now we're going to go over here to our main site. I'm going to do a refresh and I'm going to scroll all the way down to our opt-in section. And I'm going to test this out. I'm just going to send this to myself, to one of my many emails. All right. And 
That's fine. And then now we're going to go ahead and click on yes, send me the 25% off coupon. Now, when we click on this, we should get the thank you page if everything's run correctly. So let's click on it and see what happens. Drum roll. There we go. Thank you page. So head over to your inbox and check this, you know, look for the uh, subject line, your first name. Again, if we did this all right, it's going to say, Sean, here's your 25% off coupon. All right, so now we'll go ahead and click on back to the site to go back to the site. And uh, now what we want to do is go check our email and see if it came through okay. Going to pop open my email here and right here. What I tell you, Sean, here's your exclusive coupon code for 25% off. So we click into that. And yeah, this looks safe to me uh, right here. Hello, Sean, there's our email. So now you have it. We have uh, configured our tags. We've configured our campaign and the email that goes into the campaign. We've configured the opt-in form and we've configured the thank you page. You're all set and ready to go. Now, we will have all this in a nice little package for you if you'd like to uh, have this service-based template uh, along with the email campaign. Let us know. Fill in the uh, click on the link below and share your name and email with us and we'll get that right over to you. Thanks for watching everybody.